Hey y'all, so it's Monday. I don't know if this is a new video, if it is. Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren. These Vlogmas videos are really running together at this point. I can never remember which number I'm on. I'm like two ahead of filming than I am on what's being uploaded. It's very confusing. This is usually why my Vlogmas is a disaster, but I have a lot of footage that I'm gonna share with y'all with like random recipes and just like parts of my life that don't really fit into like my main videos, which I usually post on Sundays, Mondays. Um, so anyways, hi, glad you're here. I am headed actually to HEB right now because we had a little snafu with the grocery pickup yesterday. I was supposed to pick it up. I, I apparently ordered it in the wrong city. So I went to pick it up and they came out and knocked my window. They were like, ma'am, we don't have your order. <laughs> Can you tell us your name? And I was like telling them, I'm looking at my app and I was like, oh my gosh, I just clicked like a similarly named H-E-B and it was not in fact the same one. So I was not gonna drive to a different town to pick up my groceries. I canceled the order and just rescheduled it for the right place um, today after work. So I did not meal prep yesterday. I don't have anything for lunch. I thought I might get lunch with my dad so I just didn't plan anything. And in fact, he went home for lunch to like do some stuff at their house and I decided I'm gonna go to HEB. So part of our little like company Christmas gift, which we had our Christmas party last week, so we got it, is we get an HEB gift card and I love it. It's seriously the best around the holidays. It's so nice and you can use it on food, you can use it on alcohol, literally anything. Um, you can use it on Christmas gifts. I did that one year because I don't, if y'all aren't from Texas, you might not know this, but HEB is like, kind of like Walmart, but a million times better, if that makes sense. Um, so they have other things than just groceries. The one near me, and actually a lot of them, will have like a boutique inside with like clothes, jewelry, cups, candles, like anything you can imagine, like a, actually a really cute boutique. Um, so they have that, they have like electronic sections, cooler sections, um, like kind of like the Yeti brand coolers they'll have like I'm trying to think is it called like Coda or Cody or something like that whatever that brand is um they have a lot of different like stores within them and you can use your gift card at them so I've gotten like gifts from there anyways I ordered my original groceries on my gift card which I was excited about and then when I reordered I was just like on auto mode and it's connected to my debit card and I accidentally hit order before I realized I hadn't selected that I wanted to use the gift card. So I bought my groceries on my regular card, which is fine. It wasn't that much because we have an imperfect box coming tomorrow, which I'm excited about. Um, I seriously am really enjoying that imperfect foods. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. Um, I have like a referral link that anybody gets if you use them. So I'll put that down below. It gets you like $20 off of four boxes in a row. So essentially $80 of free groceries. Um, it's awesome. It's convenient. It's kind of like sparked my, um, cooking a little bit more. I've just been excited for all these new recipes and I'm eating more vegetables and it's just been fun. So I, I really enjoy the Imperfect Food Box. I don't order every week though. You can actually set it to like weekly, bi-weekly, once a month, um, and you can go in and skip orders anytime that you need to, which is helpful for me and Morgan because we, there's just two of us. So anyways, I do it like bi-weekly right now and it's a lot of fun. All that to be said, <laughs> I'm gonna go get some lunch at H-E-B and I might grab a couple things, just like work snacks um, or like work things to have on hand because I don't have any and I haven't for like a month. Literally since y'all saw, if you've been around, I posted in a vlog like months back, a little Whole Foods haul of like work snacks. And since then I haven't gotten any and I've been out. So I might pick up some of those items and even maybe like a frozen lunch or something I can just keep in the freezer at work for when I need something quick, like today. And I don't have anything, so that's a bummer. Also, I think I'm gonna get sushi <laughs> because it just sounds so good. And it's my birthday week, so I'm like, meet your goals, but treat yourself, you know? I also have a mini bunt cake. I have a free bunt cake. I have a free Starbucks drink. I have a free Dunkin' drink. I never do those um, birthday things, but I'm gonna try to do them this year. Also, I have a free like six peak six piece wings at Buffalo Wild Wings. So maybe me and my dad will go, we'll go get those for lunch one day. I don't know, but 
Happy Monday. I'll show you what I get at HB. Okay, bye. Christmas, baby. We're back. So I spent $48, or no, I'm sorry, $50 and 31 cents. Um, mostly, well, my lunch was like 12. Anyways, um, and I have my gift card, yay! So I actually didn't pay anything and I still have money left. Um, Okay, my sushi's overturned. Let me show you what I got. It's gonna look messed up because it was upside down. Whoops. Okay, I got this spicy mayo, which I always just use a little bit of. It's so good though. Um, and I got the spicy tuna roll, one of my favorites, 320 calories, 20 protein. You can see that's right there, but that's what it looks like. Really good, really spicy. And then I also got chicken pot stickers, which I might just eat half of. We'll just see. But it's 260 calories for those. Um, and it does come with a sauce. So that's my lunch. And I got an HEB brand Coke Zero because it's Monday, you guys. Okay. Then I was kind of walking around. I was wanted to do like a reel on my Instagram story, which I've been very into lately. So follow me on IG if you're interested. Posting lots of reels. And I wanted to post some of my favorite like grab like to have like stuff to have on hand i don't know how i'm gonna word it yet but like stuff to have on hand at work for when i'm not prepared convenience things things i can leave at work and grab when i need them um things i don't really have a plan for but like for days that i don't have a plan you know so i picked up some of the stuff that i showed but i'll show you what i grabbed so i got this skinny pop in white cheddar i've been more into popcorn lately 100 calories a bag just if I need something in the afternoon. I feel like that's a really good snack. Um, I also picked up some breakfast items because I've been so hungry for breakfast lately. And I'm trying to get better at breakfast meal prepping, but I forget. And so on the mornings where I just need it, I did pick up these, two of the same one. So this is the Jimmy Dean Turkey Sausage Egg White Cheddar Bowl. 150 calories for the whole thing and 18 grams of protein. So that's a really good one, like macros wise. Um... And then I also picked up a soup because it's getting cold, classic chicken noodle. It has 15 grams of protein and 190 calories in this little container. Another Jimmy Dean thing I picked up, which this was truly curiosity. Um, and I picked up two flavors, the omelet minis. Have y'all seen these? Sausage and cheddar and bacon and Gouda. Um, 220 calories and 14 grams of protein for the bacon. 220 calories and 13 grams of protein for the sausage. So again, like a quick 200 calorie breakfast, that's super simple. Even on a week where you just can't meal prep or maybe you don't like to meal prep and you have a little room in your budget to buy some convenience items. In my opinion, I feel like these are good. Um, those are good options. I'm not telling you this is what you should eat. I'm not saying it's the healthiest option that exists. I'm just saying for convenience, it, it is an option, okay? Um, don't come for me. I also picked up these, which I haven't tried, but I have tried real good foods stuff before and I've always liked it. Um, 20 grams of protein and you get two enchiladas and it's only 190 calories. So I could have this and have like a heavier snack day and that would be fire. And then this is also new to me, Chipotle chicken and mac and cheese by whatever this, is it? I don't, I don't understand what this brand is called. Can y'all tell me? It's like love backwards. So do you pronounce it like evil? Evil? I don't know. 19 grams of protein, 440 calories. I just thought that sounded delicious. No preservatives or whatever. I'm not, I'm not that big on that. I don't, I don't really care. And then I picked up these because I saw a dietitian talking about them on TikTok. She was showing protein bars and other type of bars like her her opinion of yes and no what you should buy and what you shouldn't and this was one of her yeses so I picked it up 20 grams of protein three grams of sugar 200 calories um they are gluten-free and um I picked up the chocolate chewy chocolate chip flavor they had chocolate chip peanut butter chocolate chip or chocolate peanut butter chocolate peanut butter caramel and like a birthday cake flavor. And although I always want to reach for the birthday cake flavors, anytime I do, it's disgusting. So decided just to not even go there. Let me get this stuff put away. 
but yeah so i have a little work haul and that will these little egg things last through almost february so and it's the beginning of january i mean it's the beginning of december so that will really last me it's like the middle of december but that will really last me um you know several weeks to have those on hand so that's going to be great i'm excited about it i am going to heat up these pot stickers but I'm about to, I think, run to work and eat because I want to heat those up and I'm really hungry. So I'll see you guys later. We are making shrimp creole tonight and decorating the tree. I'm so excited. We're literally so behind on Christmas decorating, which is funny because this year we swore we we're in the mood to do it early and things just keep coming up. We're getting busy. We're getting tired. Like, I don't even know. It's like a lot going on a lot going on in here but we're finally doing it tonight and I'm really pumped about it so share that with you one of our favorite recipes we're doing it with shrimp and chicken sausage like chicken and dewy sausage it's gonna be lit and I'll see y'all tonight Merry Christmas, baby. All right, y'all, I'm awful at filming anything Vlogmas related, but we finally put up our tree. We used a Santa hat on top. Super cute. We did all of these little balls this year. We know we're late. <laughs> we're so late. We're so late. It's like, what day is it? The 13th? We have our 2020. Oh, you can't see it. There's a, there it is. 2020 key for our home that we moved into together last year morgan um and his family have this tradition where every year you buy an ornament that signifies your year so we have some of his up here and we um are starting that tradition too we actually already picked ours out for this year just haven't ordered them this is from one of my sweet friends samantha thank you girl i just got this texas tech one this year i just couldn't pass it up i have a soft spot a soft spot for snowmen I found this girl on a in a group on Facebook. How amazing is that? It's embroidered and she put the pets in front of us. I'm obsessed. These like big furry balls are from Kirkland's. That one. And we just love it. It turned out so cute. And then this is the decor frame from Michael's. Joy frame was a gift. Um the white tree i think is walmart the green tree is thrifted that frame is from home goods i think target dollar spot it's actually a um stocking holder turned around that's from target dollar spot this year candlestick which i haven't added a candle to is from goodwill santa from goodwill stockings set of two from amazon and then the little initials are from target dollar spot we haven't wiped off this table since we got the ornaments out but candle from target the little deer from target dollar spot and this tray morgan's aunt made which is really cool all right all christmas tree is up we're just chilling on the couch morgan has a question yeah what's the best christmas movie what is or the best christmas favorite? yeah What's your favorite Christmas movie? It's really hard for me. Like one I have to watch every year is The Grinch with, yeah, what's his face? You know, the newer one, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. It's so good, it seriously never gets old. So funny. Um, I don't know, there's so many. 
do you think Die Hard is a Christmas movie? Because we, I watched that yeah, for the first time a couple weeks ago, and I really liked it. Actually, I would say it's a Christmas movie. Christmas Vacation. Mm. Mm. Hmm. Solid. I think I watched that for the first time through the full way through last year, and it was really good. I know that's crazy. That and I'm terrible, but I like Bad Santa too. Oh yeah, Bad Santa. <laughs> that's one that I have to watch every year. I the year that came out, I was like, I don't know how old it was, like ten or twelve or something like that. And my family, I went with my parents and my aunt, maybe my other aunt, I can't remember. And I guess they didn't realize that it was going to be that bad. <laughs> and my aunt's like, cover your eyes, cover your ears. <laughs> yeah, that would be a pretty bad one to take it to. Yeah. But now it, it is a good movie. It's, it's funny. Yeah, it's funny. I can't even think of other ones, really. I like Home Alone, too. Oh, yeah. Home Alone. I have become more into Home Alone. I, like, it wasn't my favorite as a kid. Like, I liked it, but I, like, didn't, I don't know. I like it more now. It's on all the time. Some people say that's not a Christmas movie either, and I don't understand that one. It's absolutely a Christmas movie. Yeah. The whole thing is, like, Christmas. All right, that's all from us. Let us know about your Christmas movies down below. There's, like, so many we're forgetting, but it's fine. Let us know what your favorites are. We'll rank them. I mean, I'm trying to think of some more. I was telling him, we watched at my uh, house, we always watched A Christmas Story. That's like one of my family's favorites. We watched one Christmas movie at Morgan's uh, mom's house. And I cannot for the life of me remember what it's called. We'll have to ask them. Um, but basically the guy like... I don't know. I can't remember it that well if he oh. went to sleep or he like somehow he ended up in like he went back in time or no, he went to the future or something like that. And then he was trying to it was something that he owned a bank. Yes. Yes. He owned a bank. Right? Yes. And he um, got to see like I can't remember what it was called. It's come what life was like. And then he goes back and enjoys his family. I don't know. Tell me if you know what I'm what I'm talking about. We'll have to ask his mom what it's called. But I liked that movie. No, that was a good movie. It was a good one. It's like black and white, I think, only. Yeah. It was an old one. Yeah. So, anyways, it's already 9.30. I'm exhausted. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs> okay, we Googled it. The movie is called It's a Wonderful it's Life. It's a Wonderful Life, and it's a good one. It's a really good it, one. If you it, you should watch it. Yeah, it's a good one. You watch. can watch it with your kids and stuff, too. It's a good one. Mm-hmm. I don't know that your kids will like it, but I liked it. But as they an should. Adult. You should make them watch it because it's good. It seems like something my dad would make me watch, and I would just <laughs> pretend that I was watching. You wouldn't appreciate it maybe when you were a kid, but when you got older, you would. Yeah, I appreciated it. It was good. Okay, bye. Okay, well, I'm holding the camera awkwardly. Um, this is my outfit for today. Top is from Dillard's, like a long time ago. Um, jeans are from TJ Maxx. Shoes are from Amazon. I can link them. These are an eight. Um, I feel like they, they fit great, but from the front, sometimes I feel like they make my feet look huge. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. Um, they're also very wide. So if you have a wider foot, these are great. Um, I think that these would work for you, but anyways, then I have these little chain earrings, which I got at a boutique when we were in Wimberley. Cobb from the kitchen. We're running late per usual. We finally got our tree up. Amazing. Halfway through the month. Um, I need to let Chansey in. We've got orders to drop off. I need to leave literally right this second. So let me catch up with you guys when I get in the car. Hey y'all, so I'm in the car on the way to my shot appointment. Let's hope I don't miss the turn because I always do. Um, I just get monthly allergy shots now. And I think I have another year or two on them so anyways I have that appointment this morning I love mornings I love my mornings when I have this appointment because I can go in I do my appointment at nine and I go into the office after that so I get kind of like a leisure morning and I get to catch up on some stuff and it always feels so good so this morning I got up with Morgan made our coffee per usual packed up his lunch and then I finished editing a vlogmas video I painted my toes which I've been meaning to do forever but I don't like to paint them when I have my nails done because I don't want to mess up my nails um and yesterday I also took off my nails because I have a nail appointment today at noon so I take those off before I go and I'm ready
really excited. It's like my birthday set because tomorrow's my birthday and I have a really cute idea. So I'm pretty pumped. I'll show you guys how the nails turn out. We're doing sort of like Christmas candy cane style, but like pink. We'll see. Um, and what else is going on? I just loved that morning, honestly. Oh, also, I had a new low, like, weigh-in this morning. Not my lowest, but my lowest in the last year. Freaking COVID really threw me off my game. Um, so that was exciting. I'm feeling really good about that. I think running a mile is really doing wonders for me. Um, even aside from the scale, like my body composition, I think is, I don't want to say I'm having like major changes, but I can tell the way that things are fitting is different and I just feel better. I just feel good. So that's exciting. Anyways, I'm pulling into my shot appointment now, so I'll catch up with you guys later, but I think I'm going to go to Starbucks after this because I'm starving and I really want to try that sugar cookie latte. So I might go get that today. And then, um, I packed my lunch leftovers from last night. So I'll show you guys that. And it's just going to be a little day in the life. Welcome to Vlogmas. Okay. I feel like also my face is looking very tan today. I tanned my nose a little much. Just got Starbucks. I got the almond milk. Don't look at my nails. Almond milk sugar cookie latte whatever just exactly how it comes um i didn't make any substitutions it's 220 calories for a venti and i love it i love it it's not overly sweet it's not overly milky it's tastes like coffee blessed thank you starbucks so yeah loving it also i didn't get a breakfast because tomorrow's my birthday and i think i'll probably get breakfast or me and morgan will get breakfast or something so i skipped the breakfast and i'm gonna eat probably a little jimmy dean cup that i picked up it's like 150 calories egg white turkey sausage and cheese i think so i'll show you that at work and i'll talk to you guys later Hey y'all, so I just got my nails done. Come on, can you see that? A little snowflake and then pink and red like candy cane and the rest of them are just white. I'm obsessed. I love the white, like I love white nails. I just think, I'm obsessed. I also think this color, this ring finger color, I wanna do in January all the nails with like snowflakes or something, just like one snowflake or maybe one on the thumb, I don't know but like just that one color. It's like a nude, pink, like champagne-y. I don't know, it's so pretty. So it's 12.50, headed back to work. I did eat a banana. Ooh, did y'all see those tamales? Somebody, I was gonna eat my Jimmy Dean thing, but one of our like, you know, some company we work with brought in tamales and salsas and quesos, all the things. I just had two tamales with salsa. So good. I'm such a tamale person during Christmas. Really all the time. I love a good tamale. But Christmas time you have to. And they're very much gifts down here. Everyone gifts tamales and you give them you give them as gifts. So it's a good place to live, truly. Alright, y'all. It's day 17, I think. Um, I honestly am losing track. I took a break from like vlogging over the weekend just because it's kind of in my feels on those runs, but we're about to go on a run and I'm, um, this is what I'm wearing. I like these Yvette tops. I don't work with them anymore, but I, I look like crap, but I just had my best time. 12.49, nonstop running, feeling really good. Feeling really good. Good morning, y'all. Today is Thursday, December 16th. It's my birthday. I'm 29 years old today. Crazy. I'm not one of those people that's like terrified to turn 30. I just feel like I'm way too young to turn 30. You know, like I feel like when you're growing up, you're always like, oh my God, 30. That's so old. And it's like literally not. Like I feel so young. 
I still feel like, I feel like I hit 25 and I've felt 25 <laughs> since then. Other than I will say the hangovers are worse. My, I can't eat whatever I want without feeling awful. And it's like I have aches, you know, we're already there, but it does feel weird. I'm like, dang, I'm already about to be 30. I don't feel, it like feels so far away, but it's actually really close. So anyways, me and Morgan got up this morning super early and got Starbucks. He usually will go by himself and bring it back to me, but we were talking yesterday. Like he'll wake me up with it. And I was like, I kind of want to go. Like I want to go with you. So we left early this morning in our PJs and went and got Starbucks. And it was really fun. So we both got the sugar cookie almond milk latte. It's delish. I'm loving it. And I got the bacon gouda sandwich and it was so good. So I'm about to start getting ready for work. I have no idea what I'm going to wear. It's like 75 degrees outside, which sucks. Because I have so many cute sweaters to wear. But no, I don't like no sh cute short sleeves. So I don't know. It'll be a surprise. But I just wanted to check in with you this morning. And I'll see you guys later. Okay, I really need to leave, but I wanted to do a birthday outfit of the day. Um, ignore our table. There's cups all over it. Um, I love this sweater. It's like 70 degrees and I don't care, but it is pretty thin. So you can see there's like lots of holes. And it's not like a fuzzy material, if that makes sense. Like it's not a hot material. So I think I'm going to be okay. I have just a tank top on under that. Some jeans. I rolled the sleeves because they are like past my fingertips. My Amazon shoes, which I'm obsessed with. I feel like it's kind of a lot of beige, but I like it. I like it. And then I'm wearing these earrings again that I was wearing yesterday. I love these. They look weird unless my hair is down, but when I feel like when my hair is down, they look so good. So that's the birthday fit. This is 29. Santa Claus is packing the presents, making sure you've been behaving okay. Every Christmas, honey.